The time has come for me to give an update on my Odroid C4. It has been running almost constantly for two years, and after working through issues with the base image, it has been working fine for my needs. While I did have an issue get initially getting the real-time clock module to work, another software upgrade allowed its use. I use it as a headless server, using a MySQL database to keep local environment sensor data, as well as a web server to display it graphically. It also acts as a sensor collection device too, with a USB to one wire adapter and a couple of temperature sensors in the same room. The database is stored on a SATA SSD connected via USB. I also use it as a network file server. Previously, I had a hard drive connected via USB for the file storage, but after looking at how much I really stored and looking for a hard drive to drop, I transferred all the files to the SSD. Another thing I've used it for is testing video streaming with MB. It does okay with direct play items, but it does not have enough power to transcode. On my PC, it can stream H.264, VP9, and H.265, 1080p, or 4K without any issues, including an H.264 file at 118 megabits per second. On my Roku, apparently the default setting is to ask for any streams over 41 megabits per second to be transcoded to a lower bit rate, be it H.264, VP9, or H.265, the Odroid C4 just couldn't keep up. Once I found settings on the Roku to allow streams up to 110 megabits per second, I had no issues with any of the test videos direct playing, except for my 4K H.264 that is 118 megabits per second. These large files were made specifically to stress encoding and decoding systems, so most people would not run into these issues. While there were some issues in the beginning, overall I'm satisfied with my Odroid C4. Originally purchased in April 2020, with that, case and shipping costs came to $68. Adding the RTC Shield and EMMC module later added $31, so my total cost has come to $99. The power supply I had on hand, and if I hadn't that would add to the cost. Power draw 99% of the time is about 3 watts. So powering it over the last two years, I estimate to have cost around $10. Not bad, considering the Dell Precision 390 I just decommissioned would have cost that to run for just a month. So, what do you think? Have you tried or thought about trying hard kernel products? They are the maker of the Odroid C4 and other Odroid products. What has your experience been if you've used one? All in, I think it was a good purchase at the time when it was hard to get anything PC related. It can still be hard to get a hold of one of these, as I often see Amerijoid out of stock. My biggest concern is how long support will last. Documentation is rather spotty, and relying on their form and wiki I've not seen once why my update to Ubuntu 22.04 LTS is still running a soon to be end of life kernel. If I ever make a video on that, I'll put a link to it in the description. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it informative, and that it wasn't terrible.